Okay, well, you know, obviously, John you know, put it on himself, you know, the, the loss. I mean, obviously, it's not all his fault, but he did put it on himself. And what do you expect to see out of him tonight? Uh, the same John Wall that, that uh, we all uh, have grown to know and see. Uh, he's got to stay aggressive uh, in what he's doing, and he does. I, I, I don't have any uh, worries that, that, that he's not. That's who he is. Um, and that's what he's got to continue to play. That's how he's got to play. That's the only way he can play. And, um, he's going to come out and do it. Uh, we've seen it uh, night in and night out with him, whether it's a good off of a good game or off of a poor game. Uh, he's the guy that kind of dictates uh, our tempo, and that's got to you know he's got to be able to do that. And, and he's done that. He's responded off of bad games and and come in. He's a very confident guy, and that's that's uh, that's why we love him. Randy, how imperative is it for you guys to maintain a quicker pace? And well, it's for us. That's how we play. Uh, we have to we have to do that uh, when we're successful you know we're playing at a faster tempo and uh, you know, we got away from that a little bit in game two walking the ball up uh, you know, shot clocks 12 13 seconds before you initiate your offense um, now you're running up against shot clock uh, without uh, a lot of ball movement player movement so um, uh, you know that was probably game two or our Worst pace game of all the games we played in the playoffs so far. So we got to get back to playing a, a, a quicker, faster tempo. Is that something that Indiana can can control, help control? Well, I mean, with what you they just do? you know they you know sometimes you fall into you know a team who you're playing against. Mm -hmm. and, uh, you know they get get to walking it up, and you kind of just say you know we're going to walk it up. And uh, you know they do a very good job of getting back in transition. But our you know pace and tempo for us isn't just all about fast break points. It's about getting the ball up the floor uh, quickly with uh, you know, 18, 19, 20 seconds on the shot clock. Um, so now you can get into attack and move the ball, player movement, and, and not up against the shot clock back after one or two passes. How do these players use the crowd's energy for positive and not maybe get too Well, I don't have to worry about that. We've, we've played here already two games, so um, I think um, we understand what the crowd's going to be like, and I thought they did a good job uh, uh, in the both both games against Chicago, playing here, uh, you know, controlling your emotions and, and getting hyped up uh, to a fall. What do you want to see from your bigs in terms of keeping Roy from getting comfortable? Well, I mean, we got to do a better job of beating him early. Uh, there's no question about that. You know, we let we let him catch the ball in the paint too much, and. Uh, let a guy like him catch it in the paint in his comfort zone, uh, you know, he's, he's going to do what he did to us. And so we've got to meet him earlier, get him three or four feet off his spot, um, and make him now have to you know, try to dribble into uh, his comfort area rather than catching it and just going into a move. These guys are easy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Appreciate it.